Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be making a brick material out of a brick texture that I got off of CG Textures. Let's go find it. Brick small brown. There it is. Alright. What I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to edit the diffuse. So what you can do is, if you've got some like really, really low frequency uh, changes in your in your diffuse texture, you can go in and increase this blur size here. And this is sort of a high pass filter. You can high pass filter the whole thing. So I'm going to give it a high pass filter like that. I want to keep the original color there. So this will get rid of any weirdness in my diffuse. So I'm going to set that as the diffuse. Now I'm going to create a height map from it. We can use the original diffuse, or we can use the adjusted diffuse. I'm going to use the adjusted diffuse. And uh, you'll notice that this isn't going to work at all for a height map because this. Uh, the mortar is going to be like poking out of the bricks. We don't want that. We want the bricks to be poking out of the mortar. So what you could do is just invert this contrast. But then you get this these strange things like this guy's poking out here. And clearly he should be going in. It's just not going to look, look quite right. So instead of doing that, I'm going to use the color sampler. I'm going to pick color of the grout. I'll isolate that mask to see how it looks. This is probably mostly going to be luminosity. Yeah, just about all luminosity. Gonna make this height really low, and our base height is actually gonna come up to about medium. And if we, this is the original height map. If we blend it completely on, you can see now, now our bricks are sticking out and our grout is going in. But we want to do something else too. We want to use the second sample color. We're gonna sample the bricks and get some variation in the bricks. Right now they're all one solid color. It's a good color. And we'll use saturation, luminosity. Use a little bit of everything. Definitely want to use luminosity. We can get some interesting stuff with stuff here. Let's turn off isolate mask. Turn that guy up. Turn down our contrast a little bit. Turn down the bias a little bit. Turn up the contrast. I'll set that aside. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. I am happy with it. See, this guy isn't sticking away out. That's good. Alright. So, one other thing I want to do here is I want to get rid of some of the roundness to this, to these guys here. Turn down this, I'll get a little bit more of the detail from the, from the diffuse in there. Up the contrast again. But I want to change this 
frequency equalizer here so that we get more more of the mids and less of the, the super low super low bubbly things so we set that aside show that and I can see these are good and good and blocky just like bricks should be that's pretty good so now we'll create our normal map I want to go crisp on this normal map. I want to go extra crisp on it. Yeah. That's good. Set that as a normal map. And now we got some good normals on there. Uh, build the AO map. can lower the spread a little bit because the uh, these books are pretty yeah, these are pretty like tight tight corners in here we don't like this brick isn't going to be casting a shadow on this brick or anything like that so that so now we got some some aim and occlusion on those bricks the edge map, we don't really need a, a super crazy edge map. Turn up pinch a little bit. I think that's pretty good for our edge map. So that's the edge map. Create a smoothness map. We're going to do kind of the same thing. We don't get to use the, the metallic slider because we haven't because nothing is on here is, is metallic, but we're going to do kind of the same thing we did with the height map. I'm going to pick this color here. Do that. Turn down this blur size. This is going to be a really, really rough material. Turn up the base smoothness a little bit. Pick our second color. Nice rich red color there. Let's see, we're really getting that. The masking on those bricks. I think that's pretty good because we want to have like these bricks will be smoother than these bricks. So I think that's fine. Turn down my slight mask. So we have some some bricks are smoother than other bricks, and then the grout is pretty universally rough. Set that as smoothness. Show the full material. Looks all right. Turn that guy down a little bit. All right. So 
So now we've got these texture seams here. Can fix those guys up. Tiling the map. And this is a really good like bricks are a really good, like easy thing to 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 make tile and, and it's this is a good way of of uh, going about it because you can just match up the pattern. See these guys are lining up pretty pretty good, and you get down to the bottom here, and the, those are off. And we can just there. Got the small bricks, and then big bricks, small bricks, big bricks. Simple, easy. All right, I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna check the tiling. Yeah, the tile's much better now. I'm gonna set these maps. Do, 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 do. Go back to my full material. Alright, I think that's uh that's pretty much done. Check it in some different lighting conditions. The smoothness might be a little bit, a little bit too smooth. Let me turn that down. Keep that up high. Here's all our maps. Got our ambient occlusion. Got our adjusted diffuse. Got the edge map. The uh, height map, I believe. It's a normal map. And the smoothness. And no metallic map. I think that wraps up this video.